The average check at a local restaurant is $36.42 with a standard deviation of $8.15. What's the minimum percentage of checks between $15.23 and $57.61? So a couple of things about this problem stand out to me. The first thing is this statement, the minimum percentage of checks between these two numbers. I notice that the mean is between these two numbers. And that tells me that this is a good candidate for Chebyshev's theorem. Chebyshev's theorem requires that the interval that we use is symmetric around the mean, meaning the mean is directly in the center of the interval. And I bet if we check that, we'll see the mean is definitely in the center of these two numbers, right, on the number line. The other thing about it is that it says minimum percentage. Minimum percentage is the phrase that Chebyshev's theorem uses because it gives you at least x percent is in the interval, right? So that minimum percentage idea conveys to me that it might be Chebyshev's theorem. Another bit of information here that's lacking is the idea that it tells us the average check total and tells you the standard deviation, but it doesn't go on to tell us anything more. Like, for example, it doesn't say um, that it's bell-shaped in distribution or symmetric and mound-shaped. It doesn't indicate the shape of the distribution at all. And remember, Chebyshev's theorem can be used for any shape distribution, so I'm thinking that perhaps this is Chebyshev's theorem. Now, if you think it's Chebyshev's theorem, the first thing you should try to do is find k. So recall that k is the number of standard deviations away from the mean. And I recommend if you're trying to find k to use the following formula. So I'm going to say limit minus the mean over sigma. When I say limit, I mean one of these numbers here from the interval, so one of those limits. You can use either the upper limit or lower limit, but if you use the upper limit, then you would use this 57.61 and you subtract off the mean. Now the mean is 36.42 and the standard deviation, we have that as $8.15. And if I work out that with my calculator, I'll end up with 57.61 minus 36.42. When I do that, I get a difference on top of 21.19, and I'll divide that by 8.15. When I do that, I get the result 2.6. Now that would be my k. That would end up being my k in this problem. So long as I can show that this other limit, the 15.23, when plugged into this formula, gives me almost the same number. The only difference should be the sign. The sign should be opposite. So I'm going to quickly check that in my calculator. I'm going to go ahead and do 15.23 uh, minus the 36.42 divided by 8.15. And if you're following along at home, I'm putting the top in parentheses, so I can do it all at once in my calculator. And when I'm done, I get negative 2.6 when I use the lower limit, and this tells me that this is a good interval to use Chebyshev's theorem with. So we have all our criteria met. We have an interval, and it's symmetric about the mean, and we're looking for the minimum percentage. Okay, so let's use the theorem now. The theorem states that at least 1 minus 1 over k squared times 100% of the data will lie inside the given interval. So for us, what we should do is to plug in that 2.6 in for k. So that'll be at least 1 minus 1 over 2.6 squared times 100 percent. And let's see what we get when we do that. So we'll have 1 minus 1 divided by 2.6 squared. And when we finish that, we get a decimal 0.852 basically, and multiplying by 100 percent will give us 85.2 percent. Remember, this is the minimum percentage that's within that interval. So at least 85.2% of the checks will be within that interval, right? And that's it. That's the answer.